Hi, this is Nick Coleman with Dragonfly Creative, and today we're going to talk about a nifty little trick to make sure you sew perfect darts. So one of the problems that most sewers face is sewing the straight dart. We're going to talk about a little trick today just to allow you to sew a straight dart without having to draw the actual dart onto the fabric. And what we're going to use is tape. So what we're going to do today is take a small piece of tape and I'm going to use a little bit. Now I've got draping tape here, but you can use any tape that is uh, available. Um, you just have to be able to see the edge. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise the presser foot on my machine and I am going to line up the tape with the center of my presser foot. So it's going to be where the uh, center needle, where the needle comes down into the fabric. So it's got to be right in the center of the presser foot. Now most presser feet or throat plates have a really wonderful mark on the throat plate for you to use. Okay, so you can do that. But I want that tape to extend all the way out. Now what I'm going to do is take my dart. Now I have the two ends of the dart right here and I have the point of the dart marked right in the center. That's all you're going to need. I don't need to draw in the legs of the dart. So what I will do is I'm going to take that and I'm going to fold it like I need to sew it. You can pin it or not. And whether you're a tip end of the dart sewing to the end of the legs or you start at the bottom of the legs and sew to the tip, this guide will work for you. So now you've got your dart folded like you want to sew it. And this time we're going to sew from the end of the dart towards the tip. You can do it the other way. Either way works with this guide. I'm going to sew from the end. So what you do is get your fabric underneath the uh, presser foot. I'm going to go ahead and use a sewing bunny so that I don't get any weirdness with that uh, that first stitch or two. Now I'm going to stitch just barely onto the fabric at the end of my darts. There I've stitched on there. I'm going to put my needle in the down position. Lift my presser foot and now I'm going to line up the point end of the dart with the edge of my tape. Now when I line up that with the edge of my tape, that tape is pointed straight at the center of my needle. So if I just run that point right along that tape, I don't even really have to look at it. I'm just sewing it right along the end, edge of that tape. And then when I get to the end of my dart, I can either I know a lot of people don't back tack, but you can either do a double little teeny back tack or just sew right off the edge like normal and then give yourself enough tails to go ahead and bury and tie in there. So once I cut the bunny off and hold up my dart sample, you can see that I was able to stitch an absolutely straight dart without having to draw the lines and without really having to do anything but line that point up with the edge of my tape. So I've ended up with a perfectly pointed dart that's very smooth and when it's ironed, it irons out beautifully. So see how nicely that point irons out with no puckers and no gathers. Thanks so much for watching. This has been Nick Coleman with Dragonfly Creative.